Well, someone else we've been talking to for a long time here on the program uh, each weekend on a Saturday uh, is the doc from Utrog. And because we like to delve in behind the scenes, we like to, well, dare I say, a little bit dirty at times. Uh, We certainly get into the soil and soil microbes in autumn. Good morning to you, Yui. Good morning, Graham. Yes, uh, I guess, you know, interestingly, uh, the biological activity of soil microbes is driven by the same factors that influence plant growth. So things like moisture, temperature and nutrients. So in summer, when your soil moisture really drops and the temperature of the soil gets high, your microbial activity actually starts to slow down. That that means that in your garden, the breakdown of organic material and nutrient cycling slows down. And that has a knock-on effect because you end up with a reduction in nutrient availability for your plant. So now that the soil temperature is perfect and you've got that increase in moisture is one of the reasons why autumn is such a great time for your soils but also for your plants to recover from that summer stress. So the important thing to remember is that when you work with biological systems such as soil microbes, what you actually do in autumn and winter can have a real big effect on what happens in spring so well i guess microbial. yeah i guess it's like planting out bulbs in in autumn that you enjoy in spring that forward planning you've got to do so how do we start a soil and plant recovery program yui well the great thing about microbes is that unlike plants they reproduce very quickly so under the right conditions some bacteria can double their numbers every nine minutes mm-hmm. in the laboratory so wow. in the soil it takes a little longer obviously but you can really expect a very quick turnaround from an almost dead soil to one teeming with microbes. And we spoke about how important mulch is to trap that warmth. And obviously, you know, with the rain, there's plenty of moisture. So the only thing lacking is nutrients because the bacteria and fungi need the same nutrients that plants do. So things like nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, and those micronutrients. So if you spread hoof lung dung, then you've got a fair smattering. However, if you use other sources of mulch, especially some of those garden mulches made up of green waste, then you're likely lacking some of those nutrients. So you should consider getting some organic fertiliser into the soil. And I really love to use uh, sea mungus. Now, if you were making your own compost and added the sea mungus, w- would that be a, a, good, a good combination? That's, uh, that's ideal because a lot of those homemade composts do lack a bit of that nitrogen and some of those other nutrients yet. Right. So, and, you know, sea mungus is really a little bit different because it contains all those nutrients for the plants and the microbes, but it also contains humic material. And humics, they really hold on to those micronutrients which leach away. So when you get an increase in rain, there's a chance that nutrients run off. And, you know, I myself try to avoid this. I have a sloping block, and the last thing I want is those nutrients in that local waterway. So, you know, sea mungus provides those microbes with that carbon as well, which they really use as an energy source. So for using your compost together with your mulch, you get a rapid increase uh, in sort of microbial activity, especially you throw in that uh, sea mungus. Brilliant. Now, if you want to repair your soil, listeners, and get it healthy, again, after summer, yeah, we've had the summer, we're now in autumn, then apply the sea mungus and some compost. And if you want to mix the two together, brilliant. If you're making your own compost, add the sea mungus to it. Sea mungus, of course, you can get from Utrog, get it in a big bag or the tub, whatever you like. It's available from Bunnings, uh, Bunnings and a hardware outlets and, of course, all good nurseries and garden centres. Yui, have a happy Easter and stay safe. Same to you, and uh, yeah, all the best to you and your family. Thanks, buddy. All the best to you. Yes. Yeah, cheers, mate. That's Yui. Uh, Dr Yuri Strower from Utrog with some good advice.